or come across handbags different designers I'm talking from Louis Vuitton to Ferragamo Ferragamo has some good leather leather bags too but those are the top three that I think have the most beautiful leather handbags Valentino Dolce Gabbana and B&D buttery buttery soft B&D is known for buttery buttery soft handbags and I'm a fan for life uh, so much a fan I have three handbags in the same style because it was they're not gonna make them anymore it was their first tote the garbo tote i did a review on it i had that same bag in three different colors don't even ask don't even ask uh so here it is it's a hobo style stretches out almost looks like a slouchy style which means the fine at its finest is for if if a handbag is made in the united states it costs more to do it that way than to send it off to italy or uh, France and had it have it done it's more expensive so it there's a there's a lot of time and effort that does go into this I mean uh, they do make it here it is a quality product uh, I love it if you love studs I'm a sucker for studs and you kind of that rock and roll chic B&D is known for that two big buckles here on the side uh, this is a huge handbag it's huge and it has green suede also on the inside this bag ideally you can wear it all year round uh, you know I, I'm a firm believer that you can rock any color uh, all year round white can be tricky but you can rock it all year round there's the B&D tag there's a big about 12 inch almost 12 inches inch long zipper here it's real deep uh, it has a huge cell phone holder which I love I think that's a benefit of handbags like this being made in the United States because in Italy and France their the cell phones are smaller so the holders are smaller. This one's bigger so you got you can fit a PDA iPhone, and things of that nature will fit in here actually fit you know smartphones in America. The scale patterns on here are just gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, the pros about this bag it's durable it's actually pretty light for a big bag it's soft it looks beautiful on it's a very unique color it's uh, it's a very uh, what I consider a couture or hard to find piece this is definitely a, a very interesting very much a conversation starter it will get you noticed and it's it's a and it's good enough and it's good you can carry a lot of stuff in here and you won't have to worry about it now uh, as far as the negatives this handbag doesn't have a, a finish on it and what I mean by that it doesn't have like a not a plastic or resin or a coating on it uh, whether that be patent or whether that be a type of finish to like uh, the, the Python there's no finish to it so that means it's gonna catch dirt and catch oils and things of that nature quickly so you have to be extremely careful with this bag I had the I had brought this pre-owned and it's like new the only thing that was a problem was the fading here it faded it looks like it may have been left in the sun a little bit and it faded uh, that's the only thing that's that was wrong with the bag every other than that it's it's a, a fantastic bag and it didn't come with this original duster here there's some color dirt transfer uh, I, I tried to clean it off with my leather cleaner and a little bit came off I'll have to try it again or send it to a professional cleaner um, it that was pretty much around the corners I don't even know how I got that so you have to be careful with the oils on your hand I hopefully this can adjust back up you'll have to be careful Woo! come on come back to me you'll have to be careful with lotions and oils on your hand with any handbag especially your expensive ones even the cheap ones but especially your expensive ones you want to make sure that if you lotion your hands you wait or baby wipe your hands at least your palms off so that way you don't transfer it on to your bag uh, especially if you got Louis Vuitton bags 
uh, the cowhide, the, the nude handle uh, some, on some of them. Uh, that's it's okay for them to patine because that's oxidation. But when it gets brown and dirty looking, that's from the oils in your hand. So you have to be really careful with that. And the same goes for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to retire this handbag. Um, I'm done with it for now. Uh, but I really love it and I was fortunate to come across it. And the best place to look for python, if you want a real python handbag, whether it's for Christmas, whether it's for your birthday, whatever, you and you want it at a good price, you want to look at uh, resales and consignments. Uh, I have a python handbag that's that's up for sale at my bonanza.com site. It's an Italian designer. They were featured in Italian Vogue. That handbag is divine. It's it's got a metallic finish on it, and it's a mix between and, uh, Valentino, kind of reminds me of that, and it's the Python is just as pretty, if not prettier, than this, and uh, it's up for sale, and uh, that's a beautiful handbag, and that's the pretty. It's at a pretty decent price. Uh, I have been getting a lot of hits on it because a lot of people have been looking at it. Um, you can go to eBay is tricky if you don't know what you're looking for you can easily get a fake or a faux Python bag and be spending the price that you would spend on a real one uh, consignment shops or it's consignments consignment places like yogi's um, you might want to look at fashionfile.com those are my two favorite I still shop there uh, you know and I still look around there and uh, avil.com that's the last one I would recommend to you because their return policy is literally none. You you can get a store credit but not a full ref refund. But Yogi's Closet and Fashion File are really good about that. So that's why I would recommend that before I uh, uh, then I will recommend to you a bill. So check those three out. Uh, look up Luxury Consignment and kind of go from there. There's all different consignment places. Some are new and up and coming like me and some of them are established like Yogi's Closet, Fashion File, and Avil.com. And decide what your price point is going to be. Uh, I saw a Prada Python handbag for $760 at FashionFile.com, which was ridiculous. And Fashion File, which is a great price. That's what I mean. It was bananas. It was sickening. And it was it was a Prada. And why isn't this bag two, three thousand dollars Anyway, great condition. Uh, they do have layaway at fashionfile.com and I'm hoping they're gonna have layaway at yogiscloset.com so uh, the thing I love about Yogi's Closet is they have a 30-day return fashion file I think gives you a couple a week maybe at the most but um, a real good place also to get uh, fashion files good for uh, Louis Vuitton and, and things of that nature and uh, there are some legit there's a lot of legit stores on eBay that do luxury consignments I'm like e drop off which is based in Chicago Illinois there's so many so uh, you might want to look into that check out my site check out some others and do price comparison always do your homework before you decide to say I why is this this much money don't go in there don't go in look being surprised that a Python bag is from 350 if you're lucky to a thousand dollars it just is what it is I mean I got this one at a great phenomenal price but my other I have other Python bags I got two python bags at a retarded price and then I got uh, two other ones at a very pri expensive price and it hurt that I spent that much but for a python bag it was worth it and anyway so I had yes I know I got other python bags that I will be sharing with you so if you're interested in it I you know I always encourage people you can have nice things you just have to know what you're looking for uh, because there are some good imitation bags out there. Michael Kors has actually a very nice uh, faux faux python handbags. They have very pretty python handbags. Uh, two real ones. Uh, the newer ones, back in the days, 2007-2006, the python handbags were off the chain. They had an anaconda handbag and it was gorgeous, but um, anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email, comment me, and I'll be happy to answer anything. All right. Talk to you all later. Peace out.